Hey everyone, welcome back to Teenopolis. So today we are finishing up the files, or somewhat finishing up the files, because there's still a little bit of work left to do, but no major construction. And also, as you can immediately spot, I got sidetracked a lot. Because I'm building a restaurant at the bottom of the slope towards the files, so you might not even think it's part of the files, but even in like the conceptual ideas of the files. Yeah, I'm not calling them plants anymore because yeah, I have told you guys, I think a thousand times why planning doesn't work out for me. But anyways, because of this restaurant, the video today is actually a lot faster than usual because I wanted to keep it in like the 20 minute video range, I would say, or duration range because Honestly, that's the most I want my videos to be like I don't want my videos to be much longer than that Because with the normal speed it would be like 25 minutes to half an hour Yeah, I didn't want that so that's why it's a bit faster and also I want to immediately go into What I'm building well, it's a restaurant. I said it already, but what went into the restaurant maybe is a bit more interesting because the placement of the restaurant is a bit interesting because first off it was when it was conceptualized or like the conceptual idea was formed it was actually at the top of the slope right where like the guard post or the guard tower now sits that would be the place of the restaurant when i thought of it and now it's at the bottom and at the other side of the road and well it's also changed a lot of form but yeah there's not much to talk about that but we all know what happened to the top of the slope it just well i wanted to make beaches so the top of the slope just kept getting smaller and smaller the more beaches i built or the longer the beach that i built next to it became so then it was quickly like all right there's space left at the bottom of the slope i still want to build a restaurant here let's build it there but the other interesting point of the f i wanted to say ferals but of the restaurant is it actually is like the transition or trends yeah the transition point for three areas now which i think is actually like a good thing or well that depends on how you look at it actually but the feral sits at the connection point between the ferals area which I consider an area because it's like half the size of the agora right now and the main street or the waterfront boulevard of the main street but then it also sits right at the entrance of the agora so it had three areas or like styles of architecture that needed to be included because i don't want to have like hard transitions as i would call it like I don't want there to be like a really obvious transition of like, oh, you're entering in a new area. There's probably like a gate or some building. I immediately think when I think of like hard transitions, which is a word I made up, I think. Like, I don't know if that's actually a true word or not, but for now, I don't know. So I'm just going to say I made that word up. But with a hard transition, I think of like, let's say the Disneyland palace or castle like i consider that a hard transition because you come from the main street go to one building and then there's an entire other area like architecture style completely different and that's something i don't want to have in teenopolis or at least i want to avoid that because let's face it sometimes it's going to happen but i want there to be like the minimal amount of that so this restaurant needed to include three architecture styles which sounds a lot harder than it actually is because it's actually closer to two actually because the main street and the ferals have kind of like similar ideas when it comes to architecture it's a lot more fancy a lot more details and then the agora area is a lot more rough a lot more you know function first then you can make it fancy but it's also this is one thing i included because of its location in comparison to the water i wanted it to have 
kind of a naval feel, like kind of like a little bit of like fisherman. Like I wanted to include a reference to that location. So there's a lot of little things that you will see later on that I built to well the naval or the sea reference is going to be much later that's going to be like detailing but beyond that yeah the building is not that complicated actually like it's pretty like boxy I mean all Grecian buildings were kind of boxy like they didn't really like spheres or domes or something so in a way that makes Christian buildings actually quite simple because whereas some people might avoid boxy buildings in Grecian style buildings it's actually useful and also these fences were pretty useful because they look just like well sticks thrown onto a roof and then bind it together with some rope so that's how I wanted to give the building a bit more of a rough feel like the building itself if you take off all the detail work it's kind of well not if you take off all detail work but if you take off all the additions it's actually a pretty fancy building that sounds so weird when I say it fancy building but if you put on all the additions it's actually a little bit more rough you also see me quickly trying to add like a second entrance at the top, but yeah. Taking off like the internal way this building would be styled, that second entrance would be quite weird because there would be a staircase there and there would be a door leading out to the sort of balcony area or the second balcony area. And yeah, so the idea of like the second entrance got canceled pretty quick. Also, I wanted to, as I said, in the additions or the detail work I wanted to include that feeling of the sea so I'm making some kind of like fisherman's net thing or something as like a canopy I think is the word also I don't know what my voice did there but we'll work with it so there's a little bit of a reference to the sea also with some of the coloring because when I make the uh, we are 33 episodes into Theonopolis. I still forget that one word. But the detail work at the top of the building with the... How do you call it? Like we also have it on the temple. Again, we are 33 episodes in. This is actually the 10th episode of the Pharaohs, which is weird. And also might not be the 10th episode of the Pharaohs because we're not building on the Pharaohs right now. But I still haven't figured out that word. Well, I keep like refiguring it out and then I keep forgetting it the moment I hit record. Yeah. But the detail work at the top of the building has, well, it's blue. It also has a little bit of like a wavy feel at the end of it. But again, with the detail work, a little bit more rough and a little bit more fancy on some sides. Like at one side, it has this sort of fancy fence and then on the other, it's... Well, I got inspired by like the fences on a ship. They obviously have a better name than that and an official name, but I again forget. <laughs> so for the rest of the restaurant, you also see a toilet building right now, which of course is going to outshine the restaurant because for some reason, again, I want to make toilet buildings more fancy than anything else. I don't know. <laughs> really, I don't know. But for the rest of the restaurant, it's a little bit... I don't think there's anything really new to it. Yeah. I also struggled a lot with the new pieces from the Ghostbusters DLC. Because I was really excited about like all the... Uh, again, the words escapes me, but all the roof pieces. And then I saw like saw the roof piece and then I was like um yeah for the Grecian style I think maybe two will work <laughs> the rest is just a little bit too modern or a little too clean I would say because when it comes to like realism Theonopolis is obviously far from it but 
I still want to have the idea that these roof pieces or this roof detail would have been handmade so it wouldn't look very clean there would be like some chips that were or when it was sculpted that there were like some chips that were doing were doing were yeah <laughs> were wrong and that there was like some bit of like damage when it was made but beyond that i still want it to look very clean but still yeah a little bit rougher than most pieces that are in game right now but anyways i did use the i think they are chimneys but i just turned them upside down because i like the weird ends on it even though now that i look at it it looks like some weird mechanical machine <laughs> like i don't well uh, how can i explain this they looked good when i built them i still think they look good but i do see how they look a bit like a machine thing yeah also on this side because it's on the side of the road to the ferals i wanted to have a little bit more of like detail work because this side would be the one seen by traders and since the idea is that this restaurant is some kind of inn it would need to draw in people and a fancy building draws you more in than like a rundown building i mean that's just a fact like maybe if you're like more into like ghost buster things or well ghost buster things not that but more into like exploring abandoned buildings then that might draw you in more but for the average trader probably a more fancy building would draw you in because fancy building means wealth wealth usually means security and security means you're not going to get robbed or mugged or murdered in the night when you sleep <laughs> though even in a fancy building that might be the way that some well i'm not going to go into that that might be a bit too dark <laughs> but for the detail work or basically clutter it's a restaurant but yeah i couldn't make functional tables because the roads work or just pots work i still figure that out and yeah it's it's annoying <laughs> and i just thought uh i'm probably not going to be able to make you know a functional area out of this so let's just try to make something that looks good even though it won't be used by guests yeah so these tables completely useless but they drew draw down the point of like this is a restaurant or an inn or tavern and I do want to like give the place a name and I merely thought of like the name of like that giant that was the servant of Hera who had like a thousand eyes and couldn't sleep or well could sleep but not entirely anyway that's probably going to be the name even if I don't know the name of the that giant right now it was probably killed by some Greek hero because they always are but back to the ferals where i'm building some kind of like huh, they had the name but there were like areas maybe this is even roman and not greek but there were areas where a little bit more of nature was let in and a little bit more of like references to nymphs were let in this is again a reference to the original name of the island which still is not decided upon but i wanted to include it just so to have like an area of a little bit more wild nature i would say i mean the whole feral's garden area is wild compared to you know very structured let's say english gardens but yeah i didn't want to have like really structured gardens because as i said or i haven't said this actually why do i keep saying as i said but because it's mainly inhabited by like workers of the pharaohs and workers or soldiers or guards i don't think they would you know have one 
well they might have like one or two gardeners but beyond that it's pretty much yeah not a lot of work put into it so I wanted to have it, the feeling that it grew on its own the major tips for that to make something look natural is think of where would weeds grow so if you have like let's say around surrounding a building weeds would grow at like well at the walls so that's where most of the higher plants are and then on the normal ground or the well open area that's where the lower plants grow because that's where people walk that's where plants get trampled so that's my idea of building some kind of natural gardens that slowly grew over time that's why all the trees are really at the building walls itself and not well they are sometimes away from the walls but then i think like yeah those trees were probably allowed because they fit in with the rest and a little bit of like care went into them more so than the trees at the walls i say that but it's probably because i just want trees there yeah, sometimes it's not realistic at all, but again, the Pharos and the all of Theonopolis just isn't. Also, if you paused the video at the right moment, you could see the army camp that I said the footage of was just corrupted. So, yeah. <laughs> I want to, well, I want to, but I want to maybe make like not really a pov but just like some sort of like cinematic view of the ferals and the well the restaurant and everything but then i think of like one side of the ferals is not done like the back side or the back entrance or well not the back entrance but the back bridge and connection to the mainland there isn't done so I might have to put that off later. Again, loads of weeds and loads of plants at the edges. That's just how I built gardens. But as I said, there's still some cluttering left to do. Like, I want to have a little bit more of wagons and such. And I want to have a little bit more clutter on the walls or the courtyard buildings. Like the building that basically forms the courtyard. I want to have a little bit of clutter there. But beyond that, the files is done. This is weird. <laughs> we spent 10 episodes on the files. And I first thought that we would spend 5. That's going to be close to the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I hope you like the files. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you back in the next video where we will start something new. See ya.